Ever been stuck at a red light? No cars around, no green light coming. Bikes often don't get detected by traffic sensors. After all, they were designed to detect cars. But cyclists no longer have to sit and do nothing, because now there's the Vela Loop. Hi, I'm Nat Collins, co-creator of the Vela Loop. With a Vela Loop on your bike, you can get detected at traffic lights just like a car does. Simply attach the Vela Loop to your bike, add the spoke magnet to your wheel, and you're ready to go. A kickstand bracket is also available. The Vela Loop helps in two ways. First, it helps the cyclist find the spot where the sensor is looking for traffic. Second, once it finds the sensor, the Vela Loop communicates electromagnetically with the sensor to tell it that traffic is waiting. Here's a more technical description of what's going on. Normal operation of an inductive loop sensor involves a car driving over a loop sensor. To the sensor, the car appears as a huge mass of metal. The high frequency signal basically reflects off the metal and sends a return signal to the loop circuit. This return signal lets the traffic light know that a car is waiting. However, when a bike rolls over the sensor, the sensor doesn't see much metal. There is very little reflection. The bike might not get detected at all. The Vela loop, though, can provide the return signal you need to get detected. The Vela loop is a box of electronics with an energized aluminum antenna that mounts onto the bike. A spoke magnet tells the Vela loop when the bike is moving and when it is stopped. When the bike does stop, the Vela loop roars into action. It looks for an inductive loop sensor by scanning all the frequencies that the sensor may be emitting. The red LED blinks while it searches. When it detects the sensor, the LED goes solid red and the Vela loop transmits a signal that triggers the detector. This all happens in less than a second. People have previously tried to get bikes detected at these intersections by using a magnet on their shoe. Unfortunately, the magnets produce static fields, while the detectors only react to matching high-frequency fields. So unless you can shake your leg thousands of times per second, the magnet will not help. The Vela loop, however, adapts to whatever frequency the loop below it is using. It's all powered by two included AAA batteries, which should last at least a year. I've been using the Vela loop for three months now. I have two bikes and I don't even use the other one now. I'm no longer getting stuck at lights. It's really been fantastic. So what intersections work with the Vela loop? Intersections with inductive loop sensors in the ground. Intersections controlled by video only do not work. This is bad news because video units are notorious for ignoring bikes. However, the newest intersections are like this one, where traffic signals are triggered either by video or inductive loop sensors. And sorry, we can't help you here. And don't worry about these. These are infrared emergency vehicle detectors. They're not used for regular traffic control. Design and development of the Vela Loop for bicycles is complete. We have two patents issued and more on the way. Now we're working on versions for motorcycles and scooters. So join our email list or like us on Facebook and we'll let you know when we launch on Kickstarter. Vela Loop, because you have a right to take a left.